Today's model home is a completed model that we visited not too long ago when it was just in its framing stage. New community here in the Claremont Winter Garden area. Stay tuned. It's Amy with Heart and Home Orlando and today is a day I have been waiting for and I know a lot of you have been waiting for it as well. Today we are back out here at Lakeview Preserve which is a Pulte community here just over the Orange County Winter Garden line into Lake County and Claremont. Where this community is located it is ideal because to the left you've got Winter Garden in Orange County and just down the street you have all the benefits that the Winter Garden area is going to offer you and just to the right you've got everything that Claremont is going to offer you. This is really an ideal location and an ideal price point. Okay, so today we're going to look at the completed model of the Citrus Grove. So we actually toured, well actually we previewed this community back last holiday season when we talked about some of the newer and upcoming communities to keep an eye on. So we previewed it then when it was just land and then we came back out here when these two models, there's two model homes, so stay tuned on the YouTube channel. So we're going to do the vid other video, the other model as well. But um, we did the, the kind of the preview of the community when the model homes were still in like the framing stage just to kind of give you a piece of how awesome this community is going to be. All right, so we are touring the Citrus Grove model home. So this home is 2,855 square feet. Uh, this model shows it as a four bedroom, like two and a half bath home, but there are lots of different structural options, including this that we're gonna talk about in just a minute. So when you come into the home, by the way, first of all, let's take a look as we go through the home at some of the design options, because I know so many of you really like um, to, to kind of get some ideas. And I've seen this a few times, and I love it. It's actual flooring that they've done up on the wall. You know, this is just kind of one of those little nooks, those little, those little cutouts in the wall that's a great opportunity for you to kind of really do a big pop of design, a lot of visual interest, and that's really, really smart. I like that. And to complement that, right across the hall over here, they've done it on this back wall behind you, which you'll look at in a minute. Okay, but so this room over here, this is gonna be a flex room, an office space. You can make it a playroom, a game room, a sewing room, a study room, a painting room, photography room, timeout room if your kids are bad. I'm just kidding. Um, whatever you choose to do, this room is a great space for you. It has the double doors if that's what you ought to do as well. But here's what's really cool about this floor plan. If you need a fifth bedroom, if you need a bedroom on the first floor for whatever reason, then this room can become a bedroom and that powder bath that's right next door is going to become a full bath for you. So the master is also on the first floor in this home, but we'll get to that in a minute. But so as soon as you come in, you, again, you see that you've got your hallway here and over to the right, you have this space. By the way, that's a really nice and large room. So if you do need it for a specific purpose, know that that's a lot of square footage. Over here to my left, to your right, is going to be your two car garage entrance back over here. Actually, we don't need to open, it's a garage. Two car garage over here, but then over here, now I really like this. I have to tell you, um, some of my favorite things is having these um, mud rooms or your laundry rooms kind of quick and easy access from the garage, but that you don't have to walk through it. Um, in some homes, some, some floor plans, you do actually have to walk through the laundry room. Totally okay, but I love this design a little bit better because this door here, you can shut it and you can hide all of the mess if there is mess in your laundry room. Mine's perfectly spick and span, not. Um, but in this, this case, you actually could leave it open or you could close it. So right over here is the powder bath that we were talking about. So here's a nice big powder bath and you can see it's a nice big powder bath. And if you remember that right here adjacent to this behind this wall is that uh, office space. So if you decided to make that a bedroom, this will become a full bathroom. So keep that in mind. As soon as you enter over to the right, that could be a bedroom and a full bath. All right, so here we are in the main hub of the home. I love it. So the colors in 
here. I really tell you in, in my next life or however that works, I really, really, really am into home design and I re I couldn't do it by the way. I can't do what they do, but they are so spectacularly talented. So the people that stage these homes and design them, just kudos to you because you really have done a beautiful job. Everything in here is crisp and clean and calming and everything has visual interest everywhere you look. I love it, including the pendant lights. Remember, it's a model home, so uh, we're touring it as a model. Let's focus on the floor plan, Amy. But if you want to um, you know, kind of get some design ideas, this is one of my favorite new things. Big, really eye-catching, dynamic pendant lights. No longer do you have the tiny little skinny ones that you barely see. They're like, nope, we're gonna make you look at that. And I tell you what, it's really cool. Okay, but the kitchen layout itself, take a look at that. Lots of counter space, lots of cabinet space, and you have this nice big island. Also, if you've watched any of my videos, you know I like curves. I like things that have interest, and I love this island because it's not just a big rectangle. You have the curve around it, which I love. I just, I don't know why, I just do. But you have a nice big kitchen, lots of cabinet, lots of counter. You have your pantry back over here. And in this area, by the way, um, I wanted to point out that in this particular um, community, you actually have quartz standard here in the kitchen. Um, and you also have the 42 inch cabinets are also standard so you're gonna have a lot of nice included standard features in this home that at some other stages of construction and with other builders and other areas um, those would be high upgrades to have quartz um, in your in your kitchen and in your bathrooms all right so here we are in your dining area your breakfast nook your day-to-day -day informal dining really nice it's right here elongated linear off of the kitchen really beautiful you'll notice you have the double sliders here that go out to your um, to your lanai space so that's important to note as well you have a nice lanai space you can extend that lanai space really beautiful now this community just fyi as i walk over here so we can do corner to corner is that this community also has lakefront lots. Not just lakefront lots, but lake where you can actually use the lake. You know, Florida, we have a ton of lakes. Some of them are shallow, so you can't really put motor boats in there. Um, you can just do like paddle boards or canoes. And then there's other lakes where they're truly boatable lakes, skiable, boatable lakes. And that is John's Lake, and you can absolutely do that. So if you're interested in lakefront, Let's keep that in mind when you call me. Okay, so from corner to corner, here's kind of your family room area. You can see by the furniture that they have staged here in this model, you've got a lot of space. They've got two chairs there and two full-size sofas here, and you've still got plenty of room to maneuver and walk around. I'm not bumping into anything. And they have a huge wall here, so let's take a look at the design because I just think it's so cool. Again, they have kind of a, a brick feel here on this wall. It's really nice, really cool, and it's very subtle. And I think it's that texture alone that really kind of makes that wall its own piece of art. They also added the tray ceiling here and the little, um, the faux wood beams. Something you can think about um, as you think about and get excited about designing your own home. All right, so back over here is the master bedroom. So the master bedroom in this particular floor plan is on the first floor. So if you're thinking about the actual home layout and, and how the flow works for you and your family, if you need that master on the first floor, like we do now recently, since we can no longer walk up and down stairs, um, this might be a great option. Nice big master bedroom located at the rear of the home. So whatever your view is outside, whether you choose to do a lakefront lot or whether you choose to create some incredible outdoor pool area or outdoor oasis, that master bedroom is going to have a big window right there that's going to look out to it. So the master bathroom is over here. Again, man, the designs in here are beautiful. They just have the white quartz and the gray with the brushed nickel, but it's just so crisp and I, I really, I just love it. Big, beautiful, oversized shower. And you can see again, they've done the bigger tile and they've done the Listello or the accent tile around. And then the smaller square version there on the actual shower floor. Uh, privacy door over here, by the way, it's a pocket door. Don't see many of those. Thank you, Pulte. Um, over here for the, for the toilet. And then of course here you have your nice big master closet as well. So master bedroom on the first floor. And remember there was the office space that was at the front of the home that could be a fifth bedroom if that's what you choose to do. All right, so as we get ready to head upstairs, I just wanna point something out and then I'll meet you up there, is that remember in most um, new 
build situations. Uh, and we always want to check that with the actual builder and the actual site agent that we'll get you in contact with. But in most cases, to have the iron and the, um, the wooden railing and the iron spindles is going to be an upgrade as you go to the design center. So if you like this look, take a look at it because it's going to be something that you probably want to duplicate in your own home. All right, guys, I'm going to head up these stairs and I will meet you up. Just a minute. So upstairs in this citrus grove floor plan, you have a fantastic upstairs. This is really, really smart because it gives you everything that you need. It's just not overdone with things that you don't. If you need a loft, game room space, fun hangout zone, even an adult like movie room or something like that, you've got this huge loft. And by the way, it's huge, a huge loft space here, lots of fun space for that central location here, especially if you've got kids or just family members that are with you all the time. So there's three bedrooms upstairs and two baths, three bedrooms, two baths, but one of those bedrooms has its own private bath. Again, I want you to take a minute as we walk through the home, think about you and your family, whoever it is that you're thinking about moving. You know, hopefully you're taking all your family members with you, but you know, if you gotta leave somebody behind, but whoever it is that you're taking with you, think about which one of those family members needs their own private bath bathroom because this would probably be their room. Nice, big, beautiful room, walk-in closet, and they have their own private bathroom with their own stand-up shower, toilet, counter cabinet, mirror, vanity area. And then again, right here, they have a nice big walk-in closet as well. So this is a nice suite, a nice bedroom with its own private bath. The other two bedrooms are going to share a bathroom and that bathroom is also going to be accessible to whatever friends or family is kind of hanging out here in the game room having some fun. So over here is that bathroom and you can see that you've got two sinks and you've got a nice big bathtub shower combo there, but it's a nice big bathroom. And by the way, it has a linen closet in the bathroom as well. A silly thing, but you have to pay attention because not everybody is remembering to put those linen closets in. All right, so here's the second of the three bedrooms upstairs. Nice, big, beautiful room. And by the way, they really are. So, I mean, if you think about the size of these rooms, you've got plenty of space in here. You can see that they've got a nice bed. They've got two big nightstands on either side. They have the chest of drawers, and then they also have a nice big walk-in closet. And I mean big walk-in closet. Let's take a look at how big this closet is. So, hmm, maybe they don't get their own private bathroom, but they get a really big old walk-in closet nice big space and then directly across the hall this is your um your ac unit over here you have yet another bedroom nice big corner to corner you have a nice amount of space in here as well you can see if you take a look at the um at the furniture, the way they have these homes staged. One of the reasons that I like to be in the video for you is to see that scale, because sometimes it can be distorted in, in a video or in a photo, and you don't really know how big that room is or how long that hallway is. But I'm a real person, and that room is perfectly sized. So is this one, so is that one. The master was awesome. And if you chose to change that, um, that office space that we saw on the first floor into a bedroom as well, you would have another nice size, big bedroom. Okay, so this is the Citrus Grove floor plan. We are here in Lakeview Preserve. Remember, this community is new. So if you are looking, if you're one of those smart people and you are ready to try to make that move, lock in on a home site, get the build process going, even though the rest of the community is not built yet, it is still new, that's when you get in at that base pricing. Currently, this home base price is probably in the mid threes. And remember, I do not represent the builder. So if you are interested in this home, please call me at 407-848-8042. And we're gonna get you the rest of the information specific to the floor plan that you are interested in. But keep in mind, they've got lots of other floor plans, some that are bigger than this one, and some that are not, some single story homes if you want that as well. Great opportunity for you. This is a wonderful community and I see a lot of great things happening here. All right, so again, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. There you go. If you haven't already, and if you, if you have, thank you so much. If not, if you do subscribe to the YouTube channel, you're gonna get video updates just like this one of model homes, new communities, amenity centers, resale homes. Um, even some of my listings will do a video for those as well so that you can see what is currently available on the market. Um, and to give you an idea of how some of these floor plans flow. Hopefully it is helpful. If it is, remember, it's completely free to have me um, as your buyer agent. Not only is it free, but um, I throw in a few little perks as well. So give me a call and let's talk about that at 407-848-8042. Thank you again for watching and have a great day. Happy house hunting.